Hi everyone, this is Ann Klemmer and Stamper from StamperDog.com with a little sponsorship from The Master Stamper. And we're here to talk to you about what they're talking about, everyone's talking about, the Occasions Mini Catalog. Oh my goodness. And what are they asking about? It's these fantastic shapes. It's the framelets. It's the edgelets. It's right there i mean on page six and seven if you don't have one contact me and i'll get you one of these because this is some hot property and i'm going to show you how to use some of these with your big shot and if you don't have a big shot i'll help you with that too because i never thought i'd be a die cutter but i guess i am so anyway let's get on to i don't know what to talk about first here's the edgelets we'll get to those in a minute look at these nice sturdy packages you can see through them but they're very sturdy and it says what is on the inside you get so you get the right item into the right envelope now i kept i kept the instructions with this i didn't need it so much with the edgelet this one comes with two of them um, but I should have kept it with this framelit, the labels collection, because when you're done, they go in there and they're all loose, and that's fine. This is how they come when you first buy them. I haven't used my hearts except for um, just the outside one, and uh, the reason why you want to keep it is because here on the outside, and I'm not sure if you could read that, but when you get yours, make sure you notice this, that the approximate sizes at the widest part of the heart are on the front of these instructions so I wish I would have kept it there's some double stick tape on there and no I, once I start using this I am not going to keep the double stick tape on there I'm still going to package them loose like this because I would think trying to pull them on and off the uh, the grid there is going to you know it could spring them and you don't want that but these are going to sit up nicely in a nice little tin container or maybe one of the boxes that I got to store some of my Big Shot items. So let's get started on how to use these. You notice they're all in graduated sizes. They're uh, very, very thin. So if you saw my video on how to take tab two off of your off of your multi-purpose platform, remember in that video I told you don't throw this away because you'd use it someday and the day is here. So um, so you might want to put it back on or at least keep it in a drawer where you can you can put it back onto your multi-purpose platform. So it's easy to just show you on a piece of cardstock but what I really want to show you is this nice stamp set that goes with the uh, these framelits and if you're going to get the labels you might as well get the stamp set to go with it and here's how it works got my little soft suede going here it's a pretty big stamp so i'll give it a little applause i'm going to get one of my cutting pads and lay that on there and then I'm going to take the right size frame now remember the, it's this little lip right here that does the cutting and it's a little bit backwards from the way you normally do it so this time you're going to put the uh, well actually the platform would go underneath this then the cutting pad then the paper and then this die this is where you just use your own judgment and just center that up as well as you can if you're a little off guess what paper's not expensive you can do it again but uh, you're just going to layer it on there and just be kind of careful to keep it in the same place if you are um, if you find this challenging you can always get some dotto from us and um, that will help keep everything down and the adhesive just rubs off as long as you don't leave it there too long like 24 hours. So now I'm going to take and put the second cutting pad down. Carefully pick these up, put it on tab two at the top, and run it through the big shot. So anyway, here we're going to take it off and look at how it sticks. It's, I find that very fascinating. And all I do is just punch that out and there it is. Now remember, you don't want to throw this away because this is going to cut again but this is just a piece of paper so you can toss that where you want it but make sure that you keep these in a safe place count them before you put them away and so that the those little stamping gremlins don't you know put them underneath your stamping table so anyway there it is and 
see I've already cut this out of the the larger one and that would layer on there and color it nicely if you want to whatever you you want there's um i am doing a separate video that shows the finer points of a very beautiful card so anyway let me show you how to use the etchlets see i didn't put it in here oh i should have but here here's here's the little edgelet here's the raised edge where it's going to cut okay, we're going to pretend that this is a full um half sheet of cardstock like this is the card front and I'm just going to lay this down and you would want to put the humps towards the outside edge because that's the part that's going to be on the edge unless you want to have <laughs> the scalloped edges going a different way. Uh, one of the things you want to pay attention to is whether this is centered left to right. The easiest way would be to to take the top of the humps and have it go along the the edge of the cardstock. You could bring it in. You could, um, if I had a grid pad, it'd be easy to layer it up on that and just put this clear uh, cutting pad on top so that, or actually semi clear because it's got a lot of cuts in it, so to make sure that it's uh, staying right. But you want to also pay attention to where the cutting pad or, or the die is left to right so that you don't have a big scoop on one side and not on the other and don't ask me how I know to pay attention to this because uh, my first shot through um, it was very uneven and you know I don't think it has to be exactly even but but you would want it a little close so I'm gonna lay that on there and whoa I, I shifted it a little bit nope it's still doing fine for this one I'm gonna bring my big shot up here because I want you to see or actually hear how it is I'm gonna pick this up as long as I put my hand around here, it's it's staying fairly static or straight. And if it isn't, this is just to give you an idea of how to do it. And I'm going to run this through, but listen to this crunch. Woo! Isn't that something? It's like a bang, you know. And it, you do have to give it a little bit of of strength to put that through. But I am weak as a six-year-old so um if i can do it anybody can do it and see look at that just stuck right on there but all you have to do is snap it off and be well i mean not stamp it off snap it off but look at and i did get my edges very very close by um there's also a, the stamp set to go with this as well with the nice edges so that you could have flowers down the edge so anyway um th that's how you use this that's how you're going to get started um i'm doing a great card later today and with a video and a pdf file over at the master stamper why don't you check us out and here's the um website right down here where you can check us out or come on over to stamperdog.com because i will be having lots of samples with these and lots of other way cool things out of this occasions mini catalog this is ann clemmer and stamper from stamperdog.com trying to put a little ink, paper, and fun into your day. <music>